Impact's research has found that when people volunteer, they experience health benefits and are also less likely to die. But no one's actually asked why people volunteer, and no one's checked to see if this actually would affect their mortality risk. We use the Wisconsin Longitudinal Study, um, which is a study of older adults. It's been tracking them since they graduated high school, and they're now about in their late 60s. And about 60% of them actually were volunteers. We found that if people volunteer for reasons that are related to caring for others, those people are less likely to die four years later. And if they volunteer for self-oriented reasons or for, to experience some sort of benefit, for themselves, actually there is no benefit uh, in terms of mortality risk. In our study we couldn't actually, we didn't really test for why um, this, the motives matter so much, but in other work that we're doing we're looking at this exact question and we're finding that somehow um, when people have other oriented motives it activates uh, sort of a lowering, a more relaxation in the body. Uh, so Hormones such as oxytocin are released, which helps people to rela relax, and also their heart rate can go down. So overall, we think the reason why we're finding these results is because of lower stress. Our findings could be of interest to organizations who are trying to recruit volunteers. It's really important for volunteers to work with organizations. They do a lot of social good and provide services, and organizations depend on volunteers for the work that they do. Organizations might not want to focus purely on the benefits that volunteers receive from, from the volunteer work that they do. While it's reasonable for volunteers to expect that they will receive some kind of benefits, like getting out of the house and meeting new people or learning something new, we hope that those won't be the primary benefits that people focus on when they volunteer.